receive everything here in, uh, in trucks. We have a few places that crush for us, press for us. You know, being a, uh, a single, a single varietal winery, it's difficult to do everything, because we do everything in three weeks. Uh, it's not like we have Sauvignon Blanc coming, you know, in late August all the way to Cabernet in uh, early November. So everything comes pretty much within three to four weeks window. Mm. So since we don't, we didn't want to totally oversize a winery to be able to take it all at once, at least on the on the pressing side of things, we uh, we made a few arrangements with a few wineries uh, within 30 miles that can, we can use their pressing capacity. They press for us and they bring the fruit. Okay. Very much like a. Uh, a champagne model right. when they're doing champagne. To, uh, uh, it's closer to the fruit too. The press is closer to the fruit, which is nicer. Uh, so everything comes uh, in here. We have a scale on site, uh, which is very nice. And uh, and then we press everything with that baby here for what comes in. We brought about 50% uh, of all our grapes as fruit. And 50% came as juice, mm. pressed by the people. And all over Yakima Valley, uh, mainly a little bit from Walula, or quite a bit from Walula, and uh, from a biodynamic vineyard, and then the remaining, we have a little teeny bit from Oregon, hmm. uh, Willamette Valley, uh, recently. There's only a little tiny bit down there, so... It's not much, but I found yeah. a little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you still getting some fruit from uh, Germany? Yes, that's already picked, and that's fermenting in Germany, and that should be shipped uh, to us in uh, December. Okay. Will that get blended in with, with what you have here, or is that bottled separately? No, it's blended in. It's blended in. Uh, uh, it'll make about 15% of the dry racing blend and about 10% uh, um, of the sweet racing blend. Hmm. So we, we bring, we kind of tweak things a little bit this year. Also prices and the euro and everything is changing a little bit, but um, we're bringing muzzle fruit for the sweet racing because it's really crisp and nice. And, and then we're bringing high Nessa, uh, uh wine for the dry reason. Hmm. Okay. So that's kind of like the, uh, that's where we're going, we're moving towards. And, uh, and we used to be 25% German fruit, now we're about 15%. Uh, now, do you think that percentage will keep, keep going down? Uh, no, unless okay. we find a, uh, unless we find a, an alternative to uh, the German uh, Riesling. You like the German Riesling? It's, it's really, really expensive, but it's, really nice hmm. and I think it does a good it, it has a little twist to the blend which is very nice uh, but I will see the things that I found in Willamette Valley are very very nice too very crisp right. and uh, uh, Riesling ripe at 19 and a half bricks you know hmm. and uh, high acid things like this hmm. we, brought, we brought Giverts also from the from the Willamette Valley so we have all sizes of tanks here uh, and since we do only white wine and 90 you know, percent Riesling Pretty straightforward winemaking. Um, it's also uh, we don't have many people in total. We have a, we did harvest with four people this year, hmm. so it's pretty um, it's pretty efficient. And we go from you know 500 gallons tank. We have little little tanks for little lots of wine, 200 cases of a single vineyard, uh, all the way to a 20,000 gallon tank. So hmm. uh, that's what we ferment into. We filled half of the winery. That was. This is what we needed for this year. And then as we expand, uh, we can fill the other half right here. What is, uh, what's gonna be your case production for this first year? Uh, this year we're making a total of 130,000 cases. Wow. Yeah, and that, that includes uh, uh, all the Riesling we make, a little Giverts and a little Shannon. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and you know, we make a fair amount of uh, Van de Glacier, which is a, the wine we, we put the grapes in the freezer and then we, we take them out later and, and press them as frozen grapes. Right. So that's kind of a uh, full ice wine. So kind of a cryo, cryo ice wine sort well, of? It's a cryo extraction, yeah. uh, and it's, okay. uh, uh, it's very interesting So wine. can we see the uh, barrel room? <laughs> it's, it's right here. Actually, we're going to bring four. Uh, we're bringing some fooders from Germany, um, about uh, four or five of them. And there's those oval-looking barrels mm -hmm. that you see in Germany. Uh, they hold about 500 gallons each and we'll reserve that for our uh, uh, for some special cuvee that we'll keep separated. So we're gonna bring about five this year. Hmm. Uh, the used one that we found in Germany that we're bringing over. Uh, so that will be the extent of the barrel room right now. Yeah. <laughs> so how many styles of Riesling are you gonna make this year then? 
this year we make the three Riesling that we've made uh, all along. That mm -hmm. means the sweet, the dry, and the, and the uh, Vendeglas here. And okay. then we're going to add between, based on what we like and don't like, between three to four single vineyard uh, Rieslings. Okay. And, uh, and, very, uh, and very likely one of them will be a biodynamic wine. Uh, small amount. Small amount. 800 cases on this for right. uh, a biodynamic Riesling. Uh, and then we have uh, probably yeah four four other single vineyard that we like that will be bottled as a separate bottling. So we'll mm. have a total of probably seven Riesling. One of them will be Oregon too. Okay. We'll have an Oregon Willamette Valley uh, Riesling. So it, possibly seven to eight uh, or six, six to yeah. seven Riesling, Rieslings yeah. plus a Gewurz and a Chenin. Yeah. Okay. So that'd be uh, nine wine stuff. Okay. And we have uh, we have pretty neat little. It's it's very uh, crafted to make. Uh, Riesling, everything we did. So, uh, so we, you know, from the farms we selected to the type of equipment, the filters we have, and so on, everything is crafted to make white wine. Mm -hmm. And there's like we, I couldn't make red wine here. There's no, you know, there's no pump to pump red wine. There's nothing. So, uh, 